Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving percent problems such as percent of increase or decrease, discounts, original price, rate of discount, sell price, and markup price. I'm going to share it to you, the formulas involving discounts, original price, rate of discount, sale price, and markup price. Here are the formulas. If we're going to find the amount of discount, our formula is amount of discount is equal to original price or mark price times discount rate. If we're going to find the original price, our formula is original price is equal to sell price divided by 100% minus discount rate. If we're going to find the rate of discount, our formula is rate of discount is equal to original price minus sell price divided by original price. If we're going to find the sell price, our formula is sell price is equal to original price minus amount of discount. And if we're going to find the markup price, our formula is markup price is equal to sell price minus cost price. To apply the formulas, let's answer the following problems. Mrs. Santos bought a shoes for 400 pesos. The shoes was originally marked at 1,000 pesos. What was the rate of discount? Let's analyze and solve the problem. What is asked in the problem? In this problem, it is asking for the rate of discount. What is the formula how to find the rate of discount? Rate of discount is equal to original price minus sell price divided by original price. But what is the original price and the sell price in the problem? So we can read again the problem. Mrs. Santos bought a shoes for 400 pesos. So 400 pesos here is the sell price. The shoes was originally marked at 1,000 pesos. So this means that 1,000 pesos is the original price. Then let's put the given amount into the formula. 1,000 pesos minus 400 pesos divided by 1,000 pesos. So let's subtract. 1,000 pesos minus 400 pesos is equal to 600 pesos and we're going to copy 1,000 pesos. 600 pesos and 1,000 pesos are both divisible by 100. Or we can just cancel two zeros in our numerator and denominator. So the remaining number in our numerator is 6 and in the denominator is 10. So let's divide. 6 divided by 10 is equal to 0. 0 times 10 is equal to 0. 6 minus 0 is equal to 6. Then we can add decimal point and 0. Then we can bring down 0. Then our number now is equal to 60. And we're going to copy the decimal point into our quotient. So 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6. 6 times 10 is equal to 60. 60 minus 60 is equal to 0. We are finding for the rate of discount, and the rate of discount is in the percent form. So, we're going to change 6 tenths to percent. How to change decimal to percent? In changing decimal to percent, just move the decimal point two places going to the right and affix the percent sign. Since we don't have a digit here, we're going to write the placeholder 0 and the percent sign. So, the rate of discount is equal to 60%. Another problem, Jessa bought a pants at a discount of 40%. She paid 600 pesos for the pants. What is the original price of the pants? Let's analyze and solve the problem. 
What is asked in the problem? In this problem, it is asking for the original price. What is the formula to find the original price? Original price is equal to sell price divided by 100% minus discount rate. So, what is the sell price? Alright, the sell price is equal to 600 pesos. How about the discount rate? Okay, the discount rate is equal to 40%. So, let's put it in the formula. 600 pesos divided by 100% minus 40%. So, 600 pesos divided by 100% minus 40% is equal to 60%. And we're going to change 60% to decimal. So, how to change 60% to decimal? Just move the decimal point from the right going to the left two decimal places, then we can cancel zero and the percent sign. So, 60% is equal to 6 tenths. Then, let's divide 600 divided by 6 tenths. Since our divisor is a decimal number, we're going to make this one into a whole number. How? By just moving the decimal point to the rightmost of the number. We move the decimal point into our divisor. We're going to move also the decimal point in our dividend. So, we move one. So, our number now is 6,000 divided by 6. 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. And since our remaining digits here, here are all zeros. We are going to copy the zeros in our quotient. So the answer is equal to 1,000. Therefore, the original price is equal to 1,000 pesos. Our next problem. Carlo got 20% off the price of a bicycle marked 4,000 pesos. How much? Did he pay for the bicycle? Let's analyze and solve the problem. What is asked in the problem? In the problem, it is asking for the amount he paid for the bicycle. In short, we are finding for the sell price. So, what is the formula to find the sell price? Sell price is equal to original price minus amount of discount. So, what is the original price? Carlo got 20% of the price of the bicycle marked 4,000 pesos. So, this means that the original price is equal to 4,000 pesos. How about the amount of discount? Is 20% the amount of discount? No, because 20% is the rate of discount. We don't have yet the amount of discount. So, what shall we do? Alright, we're going to find first the amount of discount. Amount of discount is equal to original price times the discount rate. So, the original price is equal to 4,000 pesos and the discount rate is 20% or 2 tenths. So, let's multiply 4,000 times 2 tenths. 2 times 0 is equal to 0, 2 times 0 is equal to 0, 2 times 0 is equal to 0, and 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Then we're going to count decimal places in our factors. So we only have one decimal place in our factor, so we can cancel one zero in our product. Therefore, the amount of discount is 800 pesos. So this time, we can solve for the sell price. Sell price is equal to original price minus amount of discount. The original price is 4,000 pesos and the amount of discount is 800 pesos. Therefore, the sell price is equal to 3,200 pesos. Carlo paid 3,200 pesos. Next problem. 
My father has a buy and sell business. He bought a used car cost 150,000 pesos and he sold it for 180,000 pesos. What is the markup price for the car? Let's analyze and solve the problem. What is asked in the problem? In this problem, it is asking for the markup price. So, what is the formula to find the markup price? Markup price is equal to sell price minus cost price. So, let's read again the problem. He bought a second-hand car cost 150,000 pesos. So, this means that the cost price is 150,000 pesos. And he sold it for 180,000 pesos. So the sell price is 180,000 pesos. So let's subtract 180,000 pesos and 150,000 pesos. Therefore, the markup price is 30,000 pesos. Next problem. The weight of Alingurita was 80 kilogram went down to 70 kg when she started jogging. What is the percent of decrease of her weight? So let's analyze and solve the problem. What is asking the problem? In this problem, it is asking for the percent of decrease. So how to find the percent of decrease? If Alingrita was 80 kg and went down to 70 kg, so first is we're going to subtract 80 kg minus 70 kg divided by 80 kg. So 80 kg minus 70 kg is equal to 10 kg and we're going to copy 80 kg. Then we can cancel zeros and the kilogram. So 1 divided by 8. 1 divided by 8 is equal to 0. 0 times 8 is equal to 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Then add decimal point and 0. Bring down 0. 10 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Then affix the decimal point to the quotient. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Then we can add again 0. Bring down 0. 20 divided by 8 is equal to 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. Add 0 again. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. Then we're going to move the decimal point Two places going to the right, then affix the percent sign. So one, two, decimal point. Therefore, the percent of decrease is 12.5%. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.